Well, enterprise is kind of a negative word. Enterprise kind of means something that's so large that it's completely dysfunctional. Uh, and DevOps means uh, having everyone work together uh, to enable, <coughs> I don't know, rapid learning. And, uh, and so it's a cultural thing. So we've got kind of, I never realized this before, it's kind of two words that describe the culture of organizations. And I guess, uh, what's it called when you have two words that contradict each other in a sentence? An oxymoron. Okay. So we're going to start with an oxymoron. And uh, we're going to try and find a way to resolve this, uh, this problem over the course of the next hour. So I've uh, prepared a diagram of the enterprise, uh, which looks like this. So we have the business. And then we have project teams building projects. And then we have uh, infrastructure and operations who actually has to run things. And even within operations, there's different silos. There's the service desk, infrastructure team, and then behind a large filing cabinet and a tiger, there's the DBAs um, who hate you. Any DBAs in the room? Any DBAs? OK, that's fine. We can be rude about the DBAs. Huh? Yeah, OK. <laughs> Um, and why do the DBAs hate you? The DBAs hate you because you make their life miserable, because you add columns to tables and forget to index them and cause a 100 times degradation in performance. You create uh, queries and add joins and forget to do query optimization and cause 100 times degradation in performance. And it gets found out when you do the database migration during the release, and it takes 12 hours instead of five minutes. And then the DBAs are up all night trying to fix it. So. Uh, this kind of represents, um, Martin Fowler assures me this is valid UML for a big ball of mud. Um, and of course we have a machine that goes bing to let you know that everything's working. That's the most important part of operations, the machine that goes bing. Um, and so what you find is uh, we have projects. Uh, someone in the business who's very highly paid decides we're going to create a new product. And at that point, um, a project is started to build a new product. And after many months and potentially even years, this thing eventually gets released into production and wired up to the machine that goes bing. Uh, hopefully, it works. And then at that point, the project team disappears and gets assigned to something completely different instead and never actually gets to see that thing working in real life or gets the feedback on whether or how it works or whether it gets a return on investment, God forbid. Um, so 